Mr. Yilmaz, a young, healthy man, punched Mr. Rosenblum so hard it knocked him out cold and left him on the concrete. Mr. Yilmaz continues to minimize his own behavior and justify his own actions. All right, guys, what's going on? Levi Trumbull reporting here. And as you know, Galani Yilmaz was found guilty of second degree assault as it relates to punching Jewish protester Sam Rosenblum in the face. And as of the time of this recording, he's still sitting in jail. Uh, but while he's sitting in jail, we actually got a copy of the audio from the case. And we are going to bring you portions of that audio right now. Uh, you are going to hear Judge Dino E. Flores essentially scold this defendant and talk about his actions during that day that Sam was punched. Guys, this audio is explosive and awesome, and you guys are not going to want to miss a second of it. So with that being said, check out this situation out of the District Court of Frederick County, Maryland, and we are going to catch you guys very soon. Mr. Yilmaz has no prior criminal record. Nevertheless, this is a significant offense. Mr. Yilmaz indicates this is being blown out of proportion. I think Mr. Yilmaz is drastically minimizing what actually happened here, forgetting about anything political, any views that anyone has on any issue. Mr. Yilmaz, a young, healthy man, punched Mr. Rosenblum so hard it knocked him out cold and left him on the concrete. While Mr. Porter tried to chase Mr. Yilmaz to get his phone back, Mr. Rosenblum was face first unconscious on the concrete. Now, Mr. Porter referred to uh, Mr. Rosenblum as elderly, which I take offense to because he's only three years older than I am or so. Uh, but nevertheless, a young, healthy man stops his car to have a conversation with people who are putting up outrageous offensive things that he finds, no one does that because they just want to have a healthy conversation. Mr. Yomaz made it very clear that he detested what he was seeing, and he has every right to do so. But Mr. Yomaz continues to minimize his own behavior and justify his own actions. Uh, quite frankly, without his allocution, uh, the court would have felt more sympathetic towards Mr. Yilmaz's situation. He just simply refuses to acknowledge what he did, what's on that video, his hard punch to Mr. Rosenblum's face. Whatever happened afterwards, he took off running, didn't want to get caught by the police. That's uh, If you don't have anything to worry about, you've got no reason to run. That this is not a situation where probation before judgment is merited. Just because it's Mr. Yomaz's first offense does not mean he is entitled to and deserves probation before judgment. I find the facts of this case very offensive, uh, and I find his attitude towards it to be challenging. If this were subject to the circuit court sentencing guidelines, Mr. Yilmaz would have an offender score of three for the nature of the offense, the non-permanent injury, and special vulnerability of the victim, 65 and over. With an offense score of three, an offender score of zero, the sentencing guidelines are probation to two years in prison. Any sentence within those guidelines would be held to be perfectly reasonable from the circuit court. Those guidelines are not applicable or mandatory in the district court, but I do occasionally look at those in a case that's more serious than the typical case that I see in this courtroom. This case is more serious than that, and I'm very troubled by the minimization of Mr. Yilmaz for his culpability here. I find Mr. Yilmaz guilty. Request for probation before judgment is denied. He may certainly file a motion to modify Mr. Uh, Lazar. I'm not making any guarantees, but I'm not considering that today. I sentence Mr. Yilmaz to serve 18 months in the Frederick County Adult Detention Center. I sentence him to serve uh, 15 days beginning today, suspend all but 15 days. He has no credit in this case. Fine of $500 is suspended. I'm not looking to get money out of Mr. Yilmaz's pocket to give to the legislature. He may need money to pay restitution for the out-of-pocket expenses that he inflicted on Mr. Rosenblum and Mr. Porter. I'm placing Mr. Yilmaz on two years of unsupervised probation upon his release. I've heard no need that he needs to be supervised by an agent. 
conditions of unsupervised probation are obey all laws, appear in court if notified to do so. I am imposing a court cost of $2,250 criminal injury compensation fund fee, $57.50. I'll give Mr. Yilmaz 30 days to pay that due by October 10th at the clerk's office downstairs. Special conditions of probation, 40 hours of community service to the Frederick County Sheriff's Office to do something that benefits this community. This was just an outrageous event. The court recognizes the nature of the communication while protected by the First Amendment is provocative. It's designed to make people think. It's designed to offend people in certain circumstances. That makes them think. That makes them angry. There's absolutely nothing improper about that. But pulling over, parking your car, crossing the street, getting up in the face of an older gentleman creating the situation, I don't think Mr. Yilmaz really understands what it is he's done in this case. Uh, whatever hate he suffered after this is not appropriate, and I'm sorry for Mr. Yilmaz if he has been tormented online in inappropriate and racist manners, but that is not before the court. I can't do anything about that. If you choose to appeal this case, you have the right to have this sentence stayed upon appeal. You will continue on your pretrial release conditions. Probation is not to be stayed, so if you choose to appeal, then you will begin your probation immediately. Sir, you are in the custody of the sheriffs. Go can with the deputies. No, sir. Sentence begins today. You can speak to him about his appeal rights.